Today I'm going to show you guys the best and fastest legendary farm in the Outriders demo after the update and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. I am still seeing tons of videos out there where some guy talks about getting legendaries after the update but never shows it in their video. Once again, not here. Today I'm going to show you guys the best and fastest way to farm legendaries in the Outriders demo. But let's talk about what happened to legendaries in the update first. In the Outriders demo update that was released on Friday, March 5th, 2021, legendaries were removed from chests, which made the chest farm pretty much useless. And while that was good for some, I never got a legendary from doing it even after farming the three to five chest for like six plus hours. It was boring. So instead I did the captain farms and I got six legendaries out of it. So that pretty much worked out a lot better. Technically seven legendaries, but one of them was a repeat of one I already had. And today I actually got another legendary called Thunderbird by doing one of the captain farms. Also side quest rewards, and I'm talking about the repeated runs, now have a chance to drop legendary items. Why Square Enix put the words legendary items versus legendary weapons? I am completely unsure because you can't get legendary armor in the demo and epic items have been removed completely from all of the vendors. Either way, it doesn't matter because I have done 16 side quests and not one of them gave me a legendary weapon either during the mission as one of the drops from the enemies or as a reward at the end. Let's go ahead and do a little math. Talking about the payback side quest mission specifically. One payback side quest, if fully maxed out on gear, can take about two to three minutes per run. For example, we'll say two minutes for this. So in 20 minutes, I can do 10 runs if done perfect. With one of the captain farms, after we have everything already set up, can take about 30 seconds to run, kill the captain, die, and repeat. So, in 20 minutes, I can do 40 captain runs. I don't know about you, but 40 chances sounds a lot better than 10 in 20 minutes. But you be the judge. Which captain farm are we actually going to be doing? Well, since we have two different ones, we will be focused on the Terra Informer farm. Like all the other farms, you want to make sure you completely beat the demo and are on world tier 5. Now if you are already in game, you want to go ahead and then go to return to lobby. And if you are not already in game and you're just starting the game, you will already be at the lobby. Once here, you want to go to where it says select story point. And then go to where it says meet with Jakob and Shira at her command room. Confirm it. And then come down to continue game. Once you landed, you want to go to Shira's command room and then go ahead and talk to Shira and you can skip any cutscenes because they're really not that important. From here, you want to go ahead and go to where it says exit to the front lines. Now you are going to have to clear two sets of enemies and you can do that as fast as you need to until you get to a certain area. And then once you pick up the item, you can open these doors and this is where the farm actually begins. You're going to kill the captain and then go ahead and let all the ads kill yourself. Now you do have a chance to get a legendary from the ads. However, it's very nil. And if you decide to kill the ads, you do not want to kill all of them because then it'll force you to progress to the next part of the story. And you're pretty much going to keep doing this until you actually get a legendary. Now remember, this is a farm, which means that yes, it will be a grind. As I said earlier, 40 chances in 20 minutes is a lot better than 10 chances in 20 minutes. But eventually, grinds do pay off. Or, if you're unlucky, they don't. Also, the Everything Outriders Discord is now live. It's a place where the entire Outriders community can not come together, have fun, LFG, get some info about the game, and meet a lot of new interesting people. It's growing each day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below as well as on screen right now. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.